I'm in Livingston, Texas. I've been here for a month. I'm headed out today for Austin, Texas area, a little town called Liberty Hill, north of Austin, Texas. I've not filmed anything here in uh, Livingston. There's not really that much around to, to see. I've just been doing some doctor appointments and things like that. So uh, I'll check in once I get to, uh, to the new, new campground. One problem with driving a motorhome, towing a Jeep, and you see something that you'd like to stop and explore, you can't just stop, pull over, turn down a side street. You may get stuck somewhere with low branches, nowhere to turn around, and have to unhook to get out. No matter how much route planning I do, I always seem to have a problem. This one occurred in Rockdale. I took a right in Rockdale on 908 and drove a couple of miles and came upon a sign. It said road closed four miles ahead, local traffic only. I pulled over as soon as I had a chance, called Texas DOT, told them where I was, and they said take a left at the next intersection and follow that road back into town. So that's what I did. When I got back to town, I was glad to see the K Theater here on the right. So. I turn and I go down this narrow single lane paved road and it looks real sketchy. It's just potholes connected with a little bit of pavement but it finally led me back to town and back to the K Theater and I was glad to make it back to the main road. I get to the last turn. There's no sign for the RV park. I turn on this road. It looks kind of sketchy. I stopped immediately. I called the RV park. They assured me that I was on the right road to keep on coming. So I get down the road a little ways and the road looks even worse. So now I'm really concerned. It's just really rough, bad road, barely potholes stuck together with a little bit of pavement. I come around the corner and finally, there's the RV park. I was able to breathe a sigh of relief check out the Airstream trailer up on blocks. That's their sign. We made it to XS12 RV Ranch yesterday and today I'm going to shoot some uh, video of the RV park and share it with you because I'm uh, excited. It's a really nice, uh, really nice little place. I rode my bike down to the swimming hole, so hold on, it's a shaky ride. I'm really moving along here. But you leave the RV park, there's a gravel and paved road that leads down through the woods to the swimming hole. And uh, there's all of this, uh, just trees that you can have picnics under and places to hang out, uh, just enjoy the wildlife. So here's the swimming hole. They have a swimming hole, which is behind me. Further on down the road, they have a larger pond for fishing and kayaking and uh, picnicking. Nice little deck with picnic tables. There's a couple picnic tables here at the swimming hole. Here's a view of the swimming pool. And let's see how that looks. I'm back on my bike for a ride down to the fishing hole. Hold on, here we go. So there's still more farmland, grassy area, trees, uh, just places to hang out, run your dog, walk your dog, look at wildlife. And here's the fishing hole. There's a nice deck there to hang out on and uh, uh, a kayak, uh, picnic tables, uh, everything for your enjoyment. Now this, the, this is the kayaking and fishing lake, it appears.
here's an overview of the RV park. So I took the drone and flew it down the runway as if we were going to take off in an airplane. There's the RV park on the left. And you see the road on the left going down through the trees to the uh, swimming hole. There's the swimming hole and we'll go up and over the trees and follow the stream on down to the fishing pond. the main part of the fishing pond you'll see the deck on the left and the, where the road ends and we're looking back toward the RV park here the water's kind of low this time of year but he said during the uh, wet season it fills up and it is stocked with uh, different kinds of fish for fishing I took a day trip to explore some of the surrounding area. This is a national wildlife refuge, so I hope you enjoy some of the scenery. This is the Balconies Canyonlands National Wildlife Refuge. And there's a nice little surprise waiting for me right here. I came around the corner and saw this and was surprised. This is a wonderful little place to come and watch the sunset. There's a zoomed in view. We've got some nice fall colors over there. This is the road that you saw curving around the lake. I'll close out with a couple of minutes of uh, video driving through the uh, uh, Balconies Canyonlands area. It was a beautiful drive. Mm -hmm.